Hi everyone, this is Sarindeep Kapoor. In this video, we'll be talking about a very important topic which a lot of traders and a lot of you misunderstand. And that topic is why trading options is better than buying crypto spot. And this is not only limited to crypto, this can also extend to stock market and this can also extend to buying futures of crypto or stock or for that matter even Nifty or Bank Nifty or indexes. Okay. And as a trader, it is very important for you to understand options first before you start trading because learning options can min help you maximize your returns and minimize your risk. And it is better than holding spot tokens in crypto or it is better than buying stock. And a lot of people misunderstand options and a lot of you may have had bad experience regarding one two options trade by which you would have started to think that trading options is not a good thing and you may have converted yourself to trading futures or trading uh, spot token. Also, we are, uh, if uh, many of you are interested, we can hold a YouTube live session or a ask me anything session live on YouTube in which I can answer all of the comments which you have in the live chat and all of the doubts which you have regarding trading options or trading strategies or in the crypto market in general or about Delta exchange. So if you want us to do a YouTube live, please let us know in the comments below. And if let's say more than 100 of you or more than 200 of you want a YouTube live, we'll uh, try to arrange it as soon as possible. So uh, please comment down below and like this video so that it reaches out to more people. Okay. And we'll do if the audience wants it. So coming back to the topic, it is very important as a trader to learn options to maximize your returns and minimize your risk. And options can give you higher return with lower risk than uh, if you are buying spot crypto tokens or if you are buying stock. And they can also be used to hedge your positions and they can also be used to earn interest or earn a gain. In this video specifically, we'll be talking about how to generate a higher return and lower risk. So there are two types of options that is call options and put options. And based on these two types of options, we, we have four types of trades. That is call by, call sell, put by and put sell. So let's look at them one by one. So the first trade which we'll be looking at is call by. Okay. So we'll be comparing buying a call option versus buying crypto or buying stock. This is the graph of buying a stock versus buying a call option. As you can see from this graph, buying a call option has a limited risk on the downside. As you can see in the graph, the stock can go to zero, but in the call option, the risk is defined to the premium which you had paid for the option. In this case, the stock is uh, a trader is buying the stock at 50 rupees and paying a premium of $3 uh, for the call option. And the person who has purchased the call option cannot lose more than the premium which they have paid. A stock can go to zero, but a call option can only lose you zero. Okay. So where is uh, a call option necessary? We'll discuss in the next slide. A call option limits your loss to the downside and gives you full upside profit. So your downside loss is limited to $300 and your upside profit is complete minus the premium. Let's have a look at an example. So in this example, we'll be talking about uh, two people. A person A buys the 2040 call option of Ethereum at $20. So here is the option chain and the 2040 call option of Ethereum is trading at a price of roughly $20 for simplicity. And a person B buys one Ethereum token at 2040. So this is buying a call option versus buying a crypto. Now. If the price and let's compare what happens. So if the price of Ethereum goes to 20, uh, 2500, the person A will gain $440. The person B will gain $460. So if Ethereum goes to 2500 from 2040, a person B will gain $460. That is 2500 minus 2040. And the person A will gain the same amount minus the premium which they have paid. That is $20. Similarly, if it goes to 3000, whatever person B makes, person A will make $20 less than that. But what if Ethereum goes down? Now, if Ethereum goes down to 2000, let's say, for example, 
the person who has bought ethereum at 2040 will lose 40 dollars but the person who has bought a call option they will only lose the premium which they have paid of 20 dollars now let's say if ethereum goes lower than that even if ethereum goes to zero the person b will lose everything they have put in but person a will only lose 20 dollars and that is the beauty of buying the call option so you can gain all the upside which is available minus the premium which you have paid and for the downside your downside is limited to just 20 dollars okay so which is what we have written the person a will always make 20 dollars less profit than person b but they will never lose more than 20 dollars so this is the case of buying a call option versus buying a crypto or a stock and this is to be taken in which uh, you expect a big upside to come in the stock or crypto and on the same place you don't want to limit uh, you don't want to set yourself up for a big downside loss so you want to limit your loss on the downside and prepare yourself for a big upside move let's talk about now put selling so put selling is a strategy which is used for reducing your downside loss and this is uh, this is to be done in a sideways kind of a market in which you don't expect to the stock to move a lot. So this is in a sideways or a minor down or a minor up market. As you can see from the graph, the put seller will always have uh, the put sell line will always be higher than the line of the stock when it is going down. So the loss is limited. And how much it is? So we'll see by the example. So I sold the 2000 call, uh, 2000 put option in Ethereum at the 29th uh, of December uh, expiry, and I sold it at a price of $80. So this is the person A who has sold one each 2000 put option at 80, and the person B is buying one Ethereum again at the same price of 2040. Now let's look at the PN. Here is the uh, chart for how a put sell trade looks like if you want to see this chart you can go to delta's inbuilt strategy builder which you can find on the options page so let's look at some examples so if ethereum goes to 2000 that is if ethereum goes down 40 dollars a person who has bought ethereum will lose 40 dollars but i will make 80 dollars if ethereum goes down further to 1900 dollars a person who has bought ethereum at 2040 will lose $140, whereas I will only lose $20. So as you can see, if Ethereum goes down minorly, I will always lose less than the person who has bought Ethereum. So if you are planning to buy Ethereum right now, or if you are, or if you have missed the upside in Ethereum, and if you want to enter right now, a good trade for you to take will be selling a put option because your loss towards the downside will be limited. Ethereum may go down slightly from here or start trading sideways. But in both of those cases, you will lose less money. And what if Ethereum goes up? Now, if Ethereum goes up from 2040 to 2060, the person B will make only $20, whereas I will make $80. So see, my lower break even, so I will not make a loss till Ethereum goes down below 1920. But the person who has bought Ethereum will start losing even if Ethereum goes down one day. And on the upside, I have, since I have received $80 of premium, unless Ethereum goes up more than $80, unless Ethereum goes up more than 4%, I will always make more profit than the person who has bought Ethereum. So this is the advantage of trading options versus trading stock or crypto directly. 